For this demonstration, I'm just going to quickly run through the Criteria B design and also give you an example folder for you to, to compare with. So, as with the investigation, you're given out a, an overview of what should be included in your design folio. This includes a cover page with your name and Criteria B design this time. The next thing is the thumbnails. Now remember a thumbnail is approximately an A6 size drawing. Um, you can do between 8 and 6 of them and things should include um, sizes or dimensions, materials used or the main parts. And these should be different designs, not one design simply colored in differently. After the thumbnails you move on to doing choosing four of these thumbnails and making concepts. A concept design should be A4 size, so you would need four separate pieces of paper. Um, you should include the three views, so that's the front, the side and the top view, and if you can, a three-dimensional view of your uh, design. Other things to note would be more to do with specific colors or functions and overall dimensions. You're starting to get down to the individual dimensions of parts or individual dimensions of the overall pieces of their carriage. You should also try and include some more shading and possibly textures to make your design as realistic as you can. After that, the last part of the design folio is to choose one of the concepts to become your, f your final design. If I look at the example folio, you can see there's my cover page with my name, my class, thumbnails. Uh, these, are, um, th these ones have been scanned from the original drawings but the idea is there. So there's my concept, or my thumbnail, sorry. Again, about A6 size. It's got some annotations on there. It's got some overall dimensions. It's got some colors and some shading work, similar to this one. So I leave some space there. The second page is space for some more. Page three is page for some more thumbnails. I then go on to my concept designs. The concept designs this time, I'm using that same thumbnail sketch, but my concept design is a lot more detailed. You can see there I've got the three views, and I've also got a three-dimensional view in there as well. There's some more annotation work, there's some more dimension work, and I've used a bit more um, shading and rendering work on there as well. Again, there's space there for concept two, three, and four. And then the last stage is my evaluation and justification. For your evaluation, I would suggest you use a table similar to this. The design specs or design specifications are the same ones from your investigation. So all you would do is copy and paste your design specs into here. I've made up a testing criteria, so I've given myself a star rating, um, going from 1 to 5, and then my concepts go down the left-hand column there. This means that for this concept here, for example, I would judge this concept against my criteria from the investigation. So, for example, if my one of my criteria was to have four wheels and four sides, like a block on an open box, I could come down, give that a grade, obviously that's quite good, maybe not excellent, but it is very good, so give it maybe four stars in there, work on to the next design spec, and so on. Eventually I would get a total out of 30, because there's five, call it, or five marks for each of the six design specs, so it's out of 30, and then I would do that for the same four concepts. After I do that, I can write a small justification. This is just a short two, possibly three sentences of why you have chosen, which idea you've chosen, 
and why. Now, although you get a, a mark here, <coughs> it's not to say that you're going to choose the one with the highest mark. For example, if concept 2 came out to be of a lower mark, but I really like that, that's fine, as long as I justify that. If I go back to my example folder now, sorry, my design criteria now, I can look at the marking key, the marking and task specific clarification, and you can see again, in the same way as this investigation, my specific numbers and specific detail given against the, the grades. Again, I hope you use this to help you create a, a good design folio.